Hello everybody, the drafter here and welcome to another tutorial of my Sky Factory survival series. Today we're gonna call we're gonna talk about a little bit more of Hex Nihilo mod. Uh, this is very important, as I said, in the last episode we saw a little bit of this Thinker's, Thinker's Construct crafting station, so if you missed it, go watch episode 2. Uh, this is episode 3 and first thing we're gonna do is gonna take our silkworm, and we saw in a previous episode, in episode 1 to be specific, how to collect a silkworm, you just use your crook uh, on your trees, Oh, this is a forest biome. Uh, I made my platform a little bit bigger just to have more space and not being, being forced to use shift all the time. So let's back on topic. Grab your silkworm, put it in your hotbar and press the right mouse button. Now, as you can see, uh, this uh, little window on your top middle of the screen, the top middle of the screen, says infested leaves from Hex Nihilo. Now, uh, the leaves would be infested with the silkworm and they will become white. All of them, will be they will become white. So while we wait uh, that this happens, see, these are normal um, oak leaves from Minecraft and this is an infested leaf. Uh, now, the reason I put that uh, block over there so the tree do not grow wild is because if you have another tree next to this one and the leaves touch each other, uh, they will become infested as well. And maybe you don't want that, it's just your preference. So while we wait for this tree to become infested, we want to create two items from the Ex Nihilo mod. Uh, you may have seen the first one, but we're not quite ready to do that. We first want to create a barrel. There are two mods that can create barrel. The first one is Ex Nihilo, that's what we want to look today. The second is Jabba, better barrel. We don't want this because we're not quite ready to do this one. This is just for storage. This is something very important that we want to use right now. Now a little trick from NEI, that is this interface that you can see over here. In this text field you can type the item you want to look uh, in the list on your right. And if you click on the item Oak Barrel, you see that it's uh, the shape of the, the item you need to create in is, um, uh, is presented to you in this, in this window similar to your inventory. Now another trick, uh, if you are on your crafting station, like so, you click on the oak barrel, you see this little question mark over here, if you just left click, you can see the item needed for uh, for its creation, but if you grab your these items and you put them in your inventory, and you do the same again, click on the oak barrel, but this time you shift plus left mouse button, you see that the, the raw material are automatically put into the crafting uh, grid. That's very handy. Now you want to make two of these barrels and I will explain it very soon why two. In the meanwhile the leaves are going to be infested by our silkworm. Very nice. Take your barrels and put one over here and one over here. If you don't like having barrel floating <laughs> on the floor just take a couple of slabs and put them down. Uh, this is safe, this is, should be safe, you will not have monsters spawning over here, quite sure. And you can check this by pressing F7. See, nothing is happening. I will show you in another tutorial what happens if you press F7. So let's just deactivate it. In the meantime, it's night time, very cool. Now let's use the barrels. Why you have two of them? Uh, you want to use one to create basically uh, dirt. You can use any kind of organic material. So we want to take eight saplings. You can also use apples, you can use flowers, you can use the silkworm. You can also use rotten flesh from monsters or I don't know, chicken, the chicken meat, the pork chop, whatever organic uh, material you have. And oh, it's raining. I really want to show you these guys. So it's raining. Uh, let me put another slab over here just to show you. See the barrels? They are collecting water. That's the reason why you want two barrels. Now, this is a bit unfortunate for another reason, uh, but it's gonna be fine, because 
we want to cover another barrel just like so I just put a half slab on top of it now this one is gonna fill with water this one won't so let's just destroy this and grab it back because as I said we want to use this barrel for compost to uh, create dirt now take your eight oak saplings put them in your hotbar and right click into the barrel see you're putting your uh, oak saplings into the barrel whenever the eighth sapling went or if you filled it with enough materials this is covered so water will not be messed with it this will show will slowly turn from uh, green to brown uh, let's check it quickly after taking a look at our tree look at our tree is almost all white that's nice this side is still not infested so we're gonna wait for it wait for it and uh, we're going back to our barrel see now the texture is uh, dark green slowly going into brown and you will see this texture will change into a complete brown with some kind of gray dots uh, here and there and that will mean now it's completely brown wait for it now it's gonna change there you go see the the dark gray spots this mean that the dirt is ready bang you can collect dirt in this way you can make new dirt block you can just imagine what you can do with new blocks with new dirt blocks you can create farmland you can just put um, a new dirt block on the floor let's call it floor of your floating island uh, to plant another tree that's very very important have more trees uh, but we don't want to do that just right now we want to put it in the chest and let's take a look at the other side if our tree become infested okay there are a few leaves that are not white so let's just wait over here so eventually after waiting a little bit this mod is very meditative you have a lot of time to think while waiting for tree to grow leaf to be infested especially in the early game <laughs> so now that the tree is completely infested you want to take your crook uh, as before and collect the, the leaf and the reason why you're gonna see in just a second why you want to collect the leaves right now is because you can get strings for example uh, you can get more silkworms but we are mainly after the strings in this particular moment the crook crooked let's grab another one and, and let's wait just a second to create a new crook this is this i think is just a bug the tree is still infest leaves sorry are still infest uh, you want to collect as much uh, strings as possible out of this so just wait for all the leaves to become white that's what we waited we got a um, fair amount of strings right now remove all them before chopping down the tree and use your axe if you want to collect the wood or just punch it whatever suits you whatever float your bow and uh, now the rain is very annoying but we are grateful for it because we are collecting it in the barrel whenever we got a bucket eh, it will be quite uh, in a long time I guess but we will get there now second thing we want to do after collecting all the strings always replant our trees now go to your NEI inventory here uh, the, the, the list of items and type sieve there you go this is another uh, ex nihilo item and uh, this is very very useful in conjunction with the dirt block we just got so you need four planks you need two sticks any kind of sticks this is just a weird bug that show a helmet and you need a silk mesh now that's the reason why we collected the string if you left click on this silk mesh this is uh, this is valid for any item in this in this grid if you click left click on the silk mesh you see that we can create a silk mesh using a nine strings so go ahead in your crafting grid and place nine strings we want two of these so one and two remove all the remaining strings from the crafting grid oh look at this we have enough to make a bed with uh with these so why not let's go ahead and make four not three uh, sorry vanilla 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 stuff three wool blocks we're gonna use them later 
now that we have our silk mesh we can just grab all the rest of the stuff we don't need the wood but we want to make new planks of course so we said four planks two mesh and two uh, sticks let's go back and use the very handy function of the uh, NEI uh, mod and collect our sieve let's put back the silkworm we don't need it right now uh, and as you could see an infested tree will not give you uh, saplings not at all so just be careful about that always have at least one sapling in your in your inventory in your reserve uh, also I want another slab yes because we're gonna put the sieve right next to the barrel just because it's comfortable it's handy and we want to grab our dirt block now this is where the magic of ex nihilo starts let me go over this side hitting shift all the time now see there is a little net make of silk mesh at the bottom of the sieve just with the dirt in your hand just uh, right click and keep pressing right click see the dirt is getting sieved and this is kind of a lottery now we got just one item which is stone i will just show you another cool um, cool feature of the nei mod if you click u uh, while mouse hovering on an item it will show you the recipe oh look at that with four stones we can create one cobblestone and why not let's go ahead and create a cobblestone out of our five stones that's very cool i got very lucky over here usually you get two you can get three four five depends how lucky you are and we got a stone can can we um there is something else we can do with the stone and but we need another item for it an item called hammer always from ex nihilo so it will use two planks and two sticks do i have enough no i don't so let's make a couple of more sticks out of these wooden planks let's put them here and let's grab two more planks and let's have a wooden hammer now grab your uh, cobblestone block put it down like so and just crush it with the left mouse button oh what did we get from the stone we got gravel mm -hmm. now we can see if the gravel is this in the same way we did with the dirt and slowly 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 we got lucky i guess we got very very lucky we see the gravel see what did we get in exchange broken iron broken lead and broken aluminium ore now if you press u you can see by using four broken iron ore you can create an iron ore gravel and what do you do with this either you put this item pyrothium dust which will not have not at all or see if this is shapeless crafting means that you can put the items anywhere in the crafting grid but if you hit the left sorry the right uh, arrow you see that you can smelt the iron ore gravel and you can get iron ingots out of that so guys out of nowhere ex nihilo you can create iron ingots so this will be all for today's episode i hope you enjoyed uh, this um, kind of a longer episode over here but that was worth because we got quite lucky with the dirt and the uh, and the gravel so i could show you quite a lot that you can do with the hex nihilo mod in sky factory don't forget to like this episode if it helped you or if you just liked it and subscribe to my channel to be updated with the new tutorials so thanks you very thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you next time guys ciao ciao